Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to be doing a two-season Philadelphia 76ers rebuild. And basically, what this is based off of is the trade rumor, or really, I should say, the uh, free agent rumor of Kyle Lowry signing with the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, personally, guys, I absolutely love this signing right here just because he is 31, but what this allows is it allows this team to develop for a few years but have a uh, veteran point guard, at, you know, leading this team instead of just throwing a guy like De'Aaron Fox in there. Now, I still want the 76ers to draft De'Aaron Fox, but just he's what like 19 years old so this would allow De'Aaron Fox to kind of uh, learn under Kyle Lowry you know a very respectable point guard of the NBA and you know uh three four years down the road whenever his contract's up it's like all right goodbye to Kyle Lowry but a uh, hello to see to uh, De'Aaron Fox is our starting point guard so this is gonna be a two season rebuild before we get the start if you guys all do me a quick favor man drop a like on this video it's always greatly appreciated and uh we look at the rest of the roster right here man draw and be the process um I guess you know uh one thing that people are saying he needs to work on is health so Hopefully, man, uh, he can play in a full A2 games next season. I don't know if that will be the case or not. If he's, I don't know if he's an A2 game player, you know, like after all those uh, surgeries he's had and just uh, all the problems, I think it's with his knee or ankle or something like that. Hopefully, uh, man, he can get past that because he's an absolute beast. Ben Simmons, I think he'll be def. I mean, I think he probably could have played a little bit at the end of last season. It's just he didn't because it's like at that point, uh, what's the point of doing it? But yeah, man, Ben Simmons definitely going to be a big uh, part of this team going forward for this two season rebuild eventually. Robert Covington, I see him maybe as a trade, you know, maybe for some trade bait out there, but at the same time, uh, we can get him for the cheap side too, it's like, I would definitely have him be as like a six man off our bench. Uh, Dario Saric, definitely in the running for rookie of the year, I don't know if that was actually announced yet or not, but uh, he's definitely up there with guys like Malcolm Brogdon and even Joel Embiid, although Joel only did play 31 games, so, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, TJ McCollum, uh, uh, no, uh, let's see, TJ McCollum, uh, CJ McCollum, Christy, god damn! You gotta know your NBA players. You can't be mixing up players like that. TJ McConnell. I wish he was CJ McCollum. I would take that any day of the week right now. Um, he'll be a good backup point guard for us. Stiago Splitter, he's gonna be gone. Jared Bayless, bitch ass contract. I promised myself I was gonna say bitch ass in all this video, but it's too late. Uh, Jaleel Okafor. Damn, dude. He was actually a pretty damn good player his rookie season. 17 points, about 18 points, uh, eight, well, seven rebounds out there. Um, I know he only played 53 games, and it's like they didn't win a lot of games, but still, man. I think there's some trade value right there. I don't want to use him as a backup, uh, so I'll probably look to trade him. Anderson, I think he was a new addition to this team. Uh, Timothy Carrot, because I don't know how to say his last name, so I call him that. And that's the rest of the team right there. Without further ado, man, let's get started on this. Uh, staff signing, we got, well, I guess we go for a good coach, right? Um, like a man, Mike D'Antoni, he would really, man, he would be a good fit for this team. I'm going to throw him a contract. He would be an absolute, like, like really good fit. Because of all these young pieces out there, um, he has accepted the deal, so we're going to sign him. Just like offensive, like what he could do, like Ben Simmons. Oh, I'd love to see that. Like, like make, like make him like a small forward uh, version of Steve Nash. Yeah, dude, I'll be all for that. Uh, let's go to the NBA draft. Keep in mind, guys, that the NBA draft the order is not the exact. I do have my third overall draft pick for the 76ers, uh, but 2K can't get their game right, so the start today mode is not working. So for that reason, man, you know I gotta do a via this way. Uh, Sim to next user pick. So I think the Charlotte Hornets have number one pick for some reason. Celtics have number two, and we of course have number three. And I already told you guys I'm looking at De'Aaron Fox. But I'm going to look at some of these trade offers out there. I mean, we can uh, go win now mode with this team for the right offer. And I do like... That's actually not a bad trade right there, but I'm not doing it. Um, Yeah, man. Ooh, Malik, I mean, we can get Malik Monk, who actually looks like was drafted already. Probably like number one, number two. It's kind of crazy. I don't see him being a top two draft pick by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> There's our boy CJ McCollum. Could get him. Too much money. All right, man. We on the clock. Uh, what we got left here, man? So we got Josh Jackson, Lonzo Ball, De'Aaron Fox. Now, in real life, I do think Lonzo Ball is going to be gone at this point. He, he potentially could fall to the 76ers, but I still think the Lakers are going to take him. So I'm not going to take him just for that reason. I want to keep it somewhat realistic. Uh, Josh Jackson, though, man, it's like, you know, he, he could go right into this team right now and be our starting shooting guard. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I, I know he plays small forward, but Ben Simmons would have that a lockdown. So let's be between De'Aaron Fox and Josh Jackson. And I like the idea of Josh Jackson being able to play right now, man. But De'Aaron Fox, also a good a good choice. Who do you all think, man? Who do you all think? Now, with Kyle Lowry out there, I kind of, you know, may, I don't know, man. It's like, do we worry about the future or do we worry about now? Josh Jackson would also be good in the future. I think, man, personally, my own humble personal opinion, I would probably go with Josh Jackson with my pick. Okay, so we have rookie signings. We have uh, Josh Jackson with our first pick right there. Going to be shooting guard for us, so... Uh, I got my boy DJ Wilson, who I absolutely love. We got Thomas Bryant from Indiana. Uh, 70 overall player. Uh, looks like he's a center, 6'11". I'm going to take him, honestly. And Edmund Summers, uh, what are you? You are a point guard, but I'm not going to sign it because I want to like lock up too much money just on some rookies like this. 
Okay, team player options. We do have a team option on B. We're going to accept that. Covington is going to bring him back. Uh, Rakan Holmes, um, he's 77 overall. going to bring him back. TJ McConnell, yes. Jess Anderson, yes. Uh, Jill Okover, only for trade bait. Yeah, I like all these guys, except not really Gerald Henderson. And as far as free agency goes, um, I don't really think this team would do much more in free agency. So, I don't know if I'm going to go. I don't know if I'm going to do any more or not. Okay, my free agents. Uh, Splitter, Henderson, Jersey, all those guys can leave. I don't care about any of them. And, well, my free agency. What else we got out there? So, yeah, man. I mean, maybe like some good veteran players off the bench would be nice. Like a good veteran shooting guard would be okay. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick here. Joni Meeks, maybe a, a Tony Allen, JJ Redick even. Um, I actually like the idea of JJ Redick as like a six man off the bench for us. Uh, or maybe, maybe even start for this season until, because he's what, uh, 33 years of age. So yeah, maybe until Josh Jackson gets going a little bit for that shooting guard position. That'd be kind of nice to do. I'm, I'm going to throw him a contract. Uh, who else have we got? Rudy Gay, uh, maybe as a six man, but that's about it. All I would use him for really. Otto Porter, James Johnson, Joe Inglis, uh, power forward position. Maybe like a, I don't know, Zebo off the bench, I suppose. Center position, don't really need anything here either, but uh, I guess I would throw an offer at, well, man, I'll, I'll give JaVel an offer. Everybody loves JaVel McGee, so we got to throw him an offer. Also, I do like the Wayne Deadman. I always try to get him for some reason. I don't know why, I just think he's a good player. What do we got here? Anybody going to sign with us? Come on, man, somebody. JJ Redick. Okay, so a three-year, $42 million deal. little on the high side, but there's definitely worse contracts in the NBA. And like I said, man, it gives us a good veteran shooter off our bench. Um, or maybe even a start for us. So, I like that for all those reasons. Let's go with Zebo. Um, and we'll also go with... I'm going to go with Dwayne Dedman over JaVel McGee. Just because uh, he does more than... You know, he does a little bit more what I want him to do from that position. So, we're good there. Small forward, we got Robert Covington. We still got back a point guard. Yeah, guys, we are good to go. Let's go to a player progression right here. See how it turns out. And yeah, man, I'm thinking... Uh, damn, I don't know what to do... JJ Reck or Josh Jackson, who should I start this season? Like, that's going to be the toughest choice yet as we get through free agents right here, man. I don't know why it takes forever every single time I play this damn game. It always takes longer, dude, every single time, man. All right, we're good there. Player progression, we got Joel up two points. Uh, we got Ben Simmons up two. Dario Sarek up one. Denman up one. Okay, so that's looking good for us. Uh, we're going to have to call some players, too, unfortunately. It's definitely That's definitely going to be the case. Training camps. Let's use these. Hopefully I, got, hopefully, I got at least two of them, man. Please, 2K, give me two of them. I need them. Like, one for Ben Simmons and one probably for uh, Josh Jackson, I'd say. Let's load up this correct draft class. Although, I think we're going to be a playoff team. I don't think we're going to be the lottery this year. I think we are going to be actually be a pretty damn solid team. At least, I'm hoping, man. It's always wishful thinking with me, though, because I'll say one thing. And 2K does something else to me out there. So, all right, 2K. Please go. Please go quicker. My God. Oh, I'm just going to fucking sit here all day, I guess, guys. 27 hour rebuild there we go training camps we got okay we got two of them that's always hoping for i mean three would have been ideal uh so we got ben simmons you get one right there got him to an a plus and also we'll do one on uh yeah josh jackson sounds like the right move got him to an a advanced next season a oh no my god oh my god man. I, I, I gotta break i gotta break some hearts out here no i'm just gonna trade these players could be gonna get like some draft picks for them so we'll do this uh we gotta trade three players away uh Bryant. Oh, I still want to get rid of Bayless because of his bitch ass contract. Hopefully, we can get some. Uh, man, dude, just like some. What am I trying to say, man? Just some. Uh, dra yeah, draft picks. That's all I wanted. That, I'll take that right there. Just to get it off my books. Don't really care about the trades. And also, I wanted to get rid of uh, Jaleel Okafor anyway, just because I don't like him out of my bench. I feel kind of bad. So, we're going to do this and also a future. Two future first round draft picks. Might be able to get something nice, a little bench player right here, actually. Or maybe even like a lottery pick in the draft. Come on, 2K. Give me something good. Please, please, please. Uh, Greg Monroe, Penny Mills, Ronnie Hood. Ooh. I kind of like the And Trey Lyles? I actually kind of like that trade a lot. Yeah, we get Derrick Rose for $140 million. Hell no, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Larry Nance Jr. And Andre Drummond? Are you serious? All right. Now, realistically, man, none of these trades are really that realistic anyway. So, I think I'm going to go with... Uh, Man, Nurkic, I mean, that's really just doing the same thing, though, right? Yo, Ronnie Hood, that's a nice deal for us. But there's going to be some things I'm going to do, man. All right, I'm going to do this deal right here for Ronnie Hood and also Trey Lyles just for a season. But, yeah, definitely going to have to make uh, make some noise out here before we get started with the season, you know, trade-wise, to make sure things are good to go. And that actually kind of screwed me over because... Okay, I just got to drop somebody real quick. Uh, DJ Wilson. I love Michigan, but you got to go, dude. Sorry, my man. Sorry. What the hell? I can't count. My God, I don't want to trade. I want. To... All right, uh, 
once again, boy from Michigan, <laughs> Nick Stauskas, you gotta take the L here, man. I'm sorry. I love Nick Stauskas too, guys. Okay, he's one. He's actually probably one of my favorite players in the NBA. But you know, I gotta do what's best for the team. Okay, gotta do what's best for the team. All right, so Kyle Lowry, Rodney Hood, Ben Simmons, uh, Zebo. No, we're gonna we're gonna give Zebo's minutes to uh, Sarik. I want that for sure. JJ Redick, Josh Jackson. See, this is where it gets kind of difficult. Actually, no, it's really not that bad because um. Like a Covington, he could play backup power forward for us. I'm actually gonna put him with that position. Just you know, it's, it's more of a small ball role for him, but uh, it will work for us. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not great. But you at point guard? Nope, not gonna work there. Um, Deadman, Josh Jackson. Okay, so I I might actually have to trade Covington just cause I don't really got room for him on my team now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's a trade for Amir Johnson and also uh, the 2018 first round draft pick from the Celtics. Um, Celtics are usually pretty bad in this game, so I'm actually going to, uh, take a game ball on this one here, just cause, like, I don't know, man, I feel like, I feel like it could work for us, so, and if it doesn't, well, we needed to shed some contracts anyway. Alright, man, this is all, we're all looking pretty good. Uh, we're calling Holmes, I'm gonna give those minutes to Amir Johnson, actually. He'll probably be our backup center, actually. TJ McConnell, um, yeah, I need you playing some more minutes, too, actually. Okay, we're gonna do this. I wanna, I wanna put Sark right there, not you, Zebo. your days as a starter is over, man, come on. And actually, you don't really need to play either, Amir. Uh, give these minutes to TJ. 14 a game. Good with that. Uh, let's go with Lowry at 33. Rodney Hood at a few more. Sarik at a few more. And Josh Jackson. You know, I want to be my six man, actually. So I'm going to do that. And overall, man, I think we built a hell of a team right here. I'm going to go ahead and simulate this season. And we're going to see just how good this team could do. Okay, so we had a really good season, man. 49-32 for our final record. Well, one more game up the season against the uh, Pacers, who are not in the playoffs. So imagine that's a W. Um, and like I said, man, as soon as I said the Celtics were going to do bad this season, I took their draft pick. Well, they ended up doing really good and getting second place. Similarly through date. And uh, we finished third place in the Eastern Conference. So that's a big jump, man. That's a huge jump for this team right here, especially if they can all stay healthy. And here's all the stats right here for you guys. See, Jalil Okafor actually most of Come on, man. I knew it was going to happen. And actually, Jalil, a power forward through Rudy Gobert. That's uh, actually kind of an interesting dynamic, dude. I would actually love to see that. But I don't know if it would ever happen or not. Probably not. All right, NBA playoffs. Before we do that, though, player stats, see how our team performed out there. Uh, we got, well, Joel Embiid at 18 points a game and 10 rebounds. I think he can definitely be that type of player, plus three blocks. So, you know, I, mean, I, I think he could honestly be, like, more to a 24, 25-point per game score if he stayed healthy. Uh, Kyle Lowry with his first season, 16 points, 7 assists. That's pretty much all I could ask for him. Uh, don't doesn't really have to do much more than that. Just make sure everybody out there is playing smart and all that stuff out there. Uh, ben Simmons and technically his rookie season. Uh, 14 points, about 10 rebounds, and 6 assists. That's absolutely crazy for the 21-year-old. Ronnie Hood, 14 points. Dario Sarri played good. Zebo off the bench. And then Josh Jackson uh, definitely showing, you know, signs of being a star in this league with his 9 points and 5 rebounds. Just off the bench, too, man. That's not bad. I'll take it. Okay, NBA Plus. We have the Atlanta Hawks first round. Simulate current round. See how we do. Let's get them. And, okay, got them four games to zero. Close out game. We got uh, Joel with 22 and 11. Uh, Rodney Hood, 18 points. Man, he'll be a, such a good shooting guard for this team. I'm just saying, man. He'll be such a good shooting guard. Dario Sarg, 18 at 8 for 12 shooting. Uh, 13 and 10 for Kyle Lowry. And, well, Ben Simmons, 10, 8, and 3. All right, man. We got the New York Knicks who upset the uh, Boston Celtics first rounds. Oh, who they got, man? This is, this is got Mello. They got, uh, yeah, Chris Tops, Mello, and D. Rose, Lance Stevenson. All right. <laughs> was whatever works for you all out there. So many current rounds. And got them four games. One wasn't too worried about that team. 24-7 uh, and 7. And, damn, eight blocks for Joel. That's the process right there, man. 17-5 and 4 for Kyle Lowry. And 16 and 14 for Ben Simmons. I'll take it. Definitely will take it. Oh, my God. Here we go, dude. Here we go, man. Come, come on, LeBron. Please, please go easy on us. Simulate current rounds. God damn it. Fucking God damn seven games, dude. And once again, once again... Golden State Warriors, Cleveland Cavaliers, same song and dance as every goddamn year, dude. Unbelievable, man. I mean, in all reality, okay, I got to look in this, in, from this point of view, we took the Cleveland Cavaliers to a seven-game series. We went from being a lottery team to in the Eastern Conference Finals. Overall, man, it's like I'm not happy with the result because I want to win, but at the same time, I understand it. All right, simulate the rest of the playoffs here, and we'll get to this uh, next season right here. Golden State Warriors, you're... Psh, Moving on, moving on, man. Don't even want to talk about it. Okay, guys, we are going to go straight to uh, the NBA draft right here. Just because I think we have, like, the Mavericks draft pick or maybe the Lakers or something like that. So, hopefully, man, uh, we can add another, like, lottery pick to this team. If not, well, maybe I'll make a trade, too. Perhaps. But, uh, what, what do we got out here, man? Um, 
Alright, what, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, so we got the 21st and also the 26th and the 27th draft pick right there. Let me see, see if I can trade all those and maybe actually trade up. I don't know if that would be the case or not, but uh, man, maybe I can get like a lottery pick for this. Uh, Ronda Ram Lopez, definitely not doing that. <laughs> definitely not a good trade right there. Um, Alright, man, not looking like anything too crazy out there. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make these draft picks real quick and I'll get back to you guys in one second. Okay, so I just let the computer do the uh, draft from here. Rookie signings, there's uh, Troy Brown Jr., 72 overall shooting guard. Uh, Jalen Brunson, this, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try that name, dude. You, you ain't getting signed, I can't pronounce it. Uh, Troy Brown Jr., man, you're our first pick, so I'll take you right there. Why not? Uh, although I'm about to cut somebody, you might be on the chopping block if needed. Okay, so we got a two year team option on Ben Simmons. We got two years on Dario Sarek, Rakan Holmes. Uh, I'll bring him back. TJ, bring him back. Carrot, bring him back. Trey Lyles, yes. And Jess Anderson, I want all these guys back. Why not do why not qualified offers? Uh, Ronnie Hood and Jerome Bleed. Hopefully, they both come back for the low, low. And my free agents. Yeah, man, that's what it's looking like. So, so far, so good, though. I think I think they'll both come back. I think they both will come back. Uh, oh, yo. Paul George? I know we got Ben Simmons. Oh, we could actually sign him, too, man. We could actually sign him if we wanted to. Um, but I'm not really feeling that all that much. Point guard? Yeah, man, it's like, I really don't know what to sign this. Uh... Now, if you want to come off the bench for us, you could, but that's about it. You know, I mean, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw Paul George an offer, man. I, I would make it work if needed. Like I would probably put Ben Simmons at power forward and use uh Dario Sark off the bench. So I mean I, I might as well throw him an offer, right, guys? I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Player option. Um, who else we got out here? Marcus Aldris, Dirk Nowitzki. Well, Marcus would actually be a nice little fit alongside Joel Embiid. I'm gonna uh, he's gonna want too much money. Alrighty, well, I mean, eh. Not really feeling these free agents all that much anyway. Like a nerd kitch off the bench, yeah, I would take you um, for that. Point guard, maybe a backup point guard. Maybe like a Marcus Smart, bring some greatness to this team. Uh, Zach Levine, he would probably be behind, you know, a uh, Rodney Hood. Actually, might actually start over him too. Not really sure, man. Let's take a look at this here. All right, so nerd kitch went somewhere else. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Doesn't really have room on this team here. Um, Paul George somewhere else. Marcus Smart's what I really want. Okay, Marcus Smart, I will take that. That's actually a good signing for us. And uh, Zach Levine, I don't really don't care about him all that much anyway. Alrighty, so the Spurs actually threw uh, Joel Embiid a $70 million contract. Hopefully, I, got, I should be able to match that no matter what, right, guys? Uh-oh. No. Come on, Greg Popovich. You being a Greg Popovich, dude. Oh, my God. Not Joel. Okay, JJ, you got to be gone. I'm, I'm sorry, man. There's no more room for you on left on this team. I got to trade you for something. I got to give that money to the process. Oh, my life. Come on, come on, come on. Go for Fucking blown screen 2k please please man this is an emergency uh oh uh oh oh my god everything's breaking okay i just i, I just need draft picks just need draft picks all right there we go man come on give me those draft picks i should have enough to match them now i should have enough money if not i'm gonna i'm gonna throw a freaking fit i'm gonna throw an absolute fit okay we can match it thank god dude all right we got him back and oh ronnie hood's about to be gone too how much money are they throwing him not I'm gonna match it. That's a lot of money, man. But he's not—it's not like he's got like a no trade clause or anything. Let's—let's so that's fine. Player progression. I don't want to look. I don't want to deal with free agency no more, man. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Um, but yeah, man. Ronnie Hood is like we could trade him down the road if we needed to, if it got to be too much money. But overall, man, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, assemble the rest of the squad. We're gonna see how we look out here. Okay, so for our final roster, we have Kyle Lowry, Ronnie Hood, Ben Simmons, Dario Saric, Joel Embiid, Josh Jackson off the bench, who I still want to get started pretty soon here. Just not quite ready yet. Uh, Zach Randolph, Marcus Smart, who I, I love this addition so much to this team. And Amir Johnson. So, yeah, man, I'm definitely thinking this is a championship team. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate the season and see how this team does. First place in the Eastern Conference, 57-24. and One more game against the Chicago Bulls right here. Setting ourselves apart, and we could W right there, man. Uh, MVP, Russell Westbrook again, Michael Porter Jr., Mason Plumlee, Sam Whiteside, Frank something. This dude right here. Um, any 76ers up here, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Give us give, give us one 76er, please. We in first place, man. Damn. Y'all got to take a break from me giving it to, like, Kevin Durant and, I don't know, Russell Westbrook and LeBron James. It's like, come on, man. Get us up. Give us some room up there, please, man. Whatever. Okay, player uh, player stats for the season. Kyle Lowry actually leading the score, man. 17 points per game and six assists. I thought this was absolutely, would be such a, like, it, I think it would be an underrated, um, addition to this team but in the end of the day man i think it would be a big time move for this team going forward if they actually got a guy like kyle lowry uh 16 points eight rebounds for joel we got 15 and 10 from ben simmons ronnie hood held on the shooting guard position zebo still doing work josh jackson still improving on his season 
and Marcus Smart brought out five points and three assists, so not as spectacular as, as I thought he would be, but overall, man, he did all right. Um, all right, so first round of the playoffs. Who do we have, man? Who's the victim? The Miami Heat. Simulate. Current round. Let's get them. And, uh-oh. Okay, got them four games to one, four games to one. Close out game 23 and eight for Joel. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. to the Heat. I actually like that. 19 points and seven rebounds, four steals, and three blocks. They also got Lounge of Ball on this team. All right, that's uh, something interesting that they got uh, going on over there. All right, Milwaukee Bucks. Who's on their team currently? They have uh, Jabari, Thon Maker. What's his rating now? 80 overall. Giannis. Uh, this Frank dude, Chris Middleton. Okay. Yeah, look at this Bulls team. They got Dirk and Jeremy Lin. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Simulate current round. Let's beat him down, man. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Thank God. 2K. Thank you, man, for not making me uh, throw my controller across the floor or wall or whatever, man. It would have been hitting something. Yo, Dario Sarri coming up big time in the clutch. 114-105 uh, with Dario with 22 points. 21 and 14 rebounds for Ben Simmons and 21 for Joel Embiid. That's our new big three right there. All right, all right. There we go. Now we got the Washington Wizards, number one, two, number one seed against number two. See as they uh, beat out to the Cleveland Cavaliers. All right, good to see something different at least. And simulate current round. God damn, my one fucking season to win 2K. God damn, dude. I'm the number one seed, they're the number two. One, two, Ron, can you count? One is better than two in the case of basketball. Oh my God, yeah, 59 points. I knew I said I wasn't going to say bitch ass to all this video, man. But your bitch ass is have 59 points in the closeout game? Oh, my God, dude. All right, whatever. Simulate, simulate playoffs. Who wins it? And all right, at least the Washington Wizards won, man. Okay, I respect that. At least the Washington Wizards did win it. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the rebuild in the comment section below. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friend.